Back in episode 6, I made a marine ply cabinet to go into the port side seat which housed my fridge. At the same time, I cut the uh, same size pieces to make a second cabinet under my starboard side seat, which is going to be a storage unit. And this episode shows you how I made that cabinet. To put the pieces of the cabinet together now for the driver's side cabinet. These are going to be the battens for the inside of the cabinet, made out of hardwood. Just cut that piece of wood down the middle into two battens. This is one of the sides on. I put wooden battens which I've glued. That's the back piece and wooden battens on the bottom piece. And I'm going to glue three of them together. Probably far too much glue there. That's that piece onto it. Okay, I've got it G clamped and I'm going to put some screws in before putting the bottom piece on. Apply glue here and on the back piece of this bottom piece, which is now going to be lifted up onto here. Okay, I've put a couple of screws in. I've got two sides on. Just checking it in the spirit level. This is the box the next morning, it's all glued. I've just put some more pieces of hardwood along the top now, ready to get the roof, the lid for it. So I'll just have a little lip at the front. Be sanded and rounded yet. Um, this bit of decorative um, that's just put in place at the moment. There'll be another one on the bottom at the front. And that'll be the cabinet without the shelves or the door yet. I brought the cabinet to the boat and I'm placing it now, similar to the other cabinet. And what I'm going to do now is I've attached it to these bits here where the old seat was. And uh, now it's in place, I'm going to drill four holes and secure it to the underneath. I've got all four bolts in now, just for illustration. Next thing to do now is to, I'm going to make a shelf that will fit in this section here. So that can be filled in. Um, we can turn this into a bed. Okay, this is the, uh, the roof, I've sanded it. and uh, put it in place. A bit of a lip on three sides. And I've just got to start screwing it up underneath. And here's a shelf I've made as well. Just put that in place. That'll give it some more stability as well for the uh, privacy. Everything's on now, the two front pieces. Let's see. Top's on. And I'm sanding now. I've used 120 on the bits that need a bit more and the bits that got glue on. That one's this back here. And then 180 just as a final smoothing sand for the sides. I use this existing shelf which does the port side to make to make a shelf for the starboard side.
I've also cut the three pieces of wood that uh, the shaft's going to sit on. These are the bits of wood that are going to have the shelf resting on them. I'll keep it up. I'm just uh, preparing them for varnishing. Now. Getting ready to varnish the cabinet now. It's a miserable day outside. So I'm doing it in the shed. Now a couple of things I've got. I've got my brush cleaner. Used a couple of these um, salsa dip jars. Really useful. This is the varnish I'm going to be using, which is flag yacht varnish. I've used it on the last cabinet. It's absolutely fine. Does the job. I've just poured some of the varnish into one of the jars at the moment. And what I'm going to do, because it's the first coat, is I'm going to get some white spirit. Pop the white spirit in. Do it about 60-40 varnish. And white spirit. And that just makes the first coat a bit thinner. And it makes the finish look much better. So you don't have discoloration. So I'll give that a good mix. So the first coat will be very thin. And after that, I'll use just pure varnish. These are um, high quality paint brushes which I bought. So let's have a little go. Okay, I've set up for my varnishing. I've got a uh, wallpaper pasting table with all the bits of wood laid out. I've just got bits of wood underneath. Keep them up. And I've got my tunes. So I'm ready to rock. This is the first coat on, which is 50-50 varnish on white spirit. And it just gives it that thin coat so that you don't get any colour mismatch. And the next coat I put on will be 100% varnish. Okay, so the first coat's pretty much dried. And the plan is now is to do a second coat, but this time with full varnish. But what I do in between coats is I get some 400 grade sandpaper on a block. And all, all I do is gently sand the surface, real gentle. And it just gets rid of any rough bits of wood or any uneven varnish and helps the next coat look much better, applies better. And what I do is, when this is, when I'm finished sanding, I just clean it with a little bit of white spirit on a cloth. And that's all you need to do. Okay, bit of white spirit and just go over what I've cleaned. Just picks up any of the dust. Try and follow the grain on the wood. And it just gives it a nice clean, ready for the next. 
Very varnish. Finishing off the second coat at the moment. the seat and I've put this mechanism in which allows the seat to rotate and lock if you see there where the lock is in these 12 different locations and now I'm just going to make a template using lining paper so that I can uh, transfer it to the cabinet to drill the holes in the correct place Okay, I've put the lining paper and folded it on and I'm just going to draw the line. So I've got an outline of the edge. So I put my cabinet in place and it's all bolted in now. I placed the seat on the top with the paper template that I made in the house underneath. I've taped the template on, I'm going to remove the seat and drill the holes. You can see my template's there, the four holes which I'm about to drill. I'm just bradling holes now in the template. Okay, just take the template off. You can see how I worked out where those holes are going to be. Starting off with a smaller hole first. Just uh, moved these holes so I can get these bolts in and we'll bolt it through. 